Fort Worth ISD now has a plan as to when it will move forward with on campus learning. Nicole is live at school district headquarters following a very long and at times tense meeting. Nicole. Karen, Fort Worth ISD board members spent 10 and a half hours in this virtual meeting. The last half of it was devoted to this issue. In the end, board members decided with a vote of six to three not to extend virtual learning for another four weeks, but they will extend it for an additional two weeks. That motion passed with a vote of five to four. So instead of parents being able to uh, send their kids back to campus on October 5th, they now must wait two more weeks. It appears this is the final vote after hearing from parents and teachers. Since last March, students in Fort Worth ISD have had little or no chance to acquire new skills. But the longer we keep schools closed, the further behind these students will become. Surviving a pandemic is about making hard decisions for the health and safety of everyone. Yes, face-to-face -face is better, but only when it's safe. The deputy superintendent announced last night that they have received 70% of the parent surveys and right now 54% want in-person learning while 46% will stick with virtual learning. We're live in Fort Worth this morning. Nicole Jacobs, Karen, back to you. Thank you very much, Nicole.